The UK Bribery Act 2010 comes into force in July of 2011 and is going to affect every business that is either in the UK, um, is incorporated in the UK, or has a UK-centric activity in that the business will be guilty of an offence under the Bribery Act uh, if it allows a bribe or corruption uh, to be made um, on its behalf or by it. If a business doesn't have a process in place that prevents bribery uh, and an investigation occurs because either a member of staff blows the whistle or a competitor uh, starts an inquiry or it's simply put into the public domain that bribery uh, has or maybe has occurred, then the, the regulators uh, will take a particularly um, tough view and will investigate uh, the extent to which you have put anything in place as a process to prevent bribery occurring. So uh, one of the key aspects is not only to understand what the offences are under the Bribery Act, but also un to understand what guidance has been given by the regulators as to what a company should put in place as a policy and a process to ensure that bribery does not occur uh, up and down the uh, chain. So when complying with the Bribery Act, um, you need to be aware that there are some other laws you should think about. Uh, typically, if you're going to put in place a code of ethics or a, an anti-bribery policy and procedure in the company, you would typically roll it out across your organization, not only in the UK, but overseas if you have overseas offices. The difficulty there is you need to think about, for example, German labor law, where uh, the right of co-determination says that if there's a works council in your German operation, they need to be consulted before you implement the uh, policy. Not doing that would breach uh, German law. Equally, if what you're doing is putting in place a um, system whereby there are ethical hotlines that can be used to report uh, suspected bribery or actual bribery by members of staff, you need to think about the current guidance across Europe in relation to the use of whistleblower or reporting hotlines because again implementing that without complying with data protection laws will get you into a lot of trouble as well as some additional fines. So what you don't want to do is, be caught, is get caught between a rock and a hard place so by trying to comply with bribery you then fall foul of some other law whether it's labour law or data protection. The Bribery Act 2010 in the UK, amongst other things, requires commercial organisations to put in place adequate procedures to make sure that bribery does not occur. The guidance from the regulators uh, indicates that one method of ensuring that compliance is in place is to put training programmes uh, out into the workplace to ensure that everybody understands what bribery is uh, and what they should and should not be doing in respect of compliance. We at Speechly Bircham have teamed up with DeltaNet, uh, a leading e-learning tools provider, to produce a unique bribery e-learning course for use by organisations on their learning management systems. The Bribery Act course has a number of modules and has been developed by leading bribery law experts at Speechley Bircham together with the technology team at DeltaNet and is licensable on a per user or on an enterprise-wide basis to companies to enable them to show that they are taking steps to ensure that the Bribery Act is trained through to their staff. If you'd like more information on the uh, e-learning product for bribery training, uh, please do contact us at Speechley Bircham.